homesteading and today we're going to candle the eggs uh, that we put in the Harris Farm Nutrite 360 incubator. So it was 10 days ago we put them in there. It's about time that we check to see uh, if the eggs are fertilized. Uh, the reason you want to check that is to make sure that you don't have unfertilized eggs in there for an extended period of time. If you leave them in for 21 days it's possible that they will actually explode. Uh, you just don't want that. Uh, you don't want bacteria in there, you don't want all that. We'll go through them, make sure they're all fertilized and developing. The ones that aren't, we're going to remove them, and the ones that are, we're going to let them go till the uh, 21st day, and hopefully we'll have a bunch of chicks hatching. Okay, so the Nutrite 360 has a built-in egg candle. You push this button, and it comes on. Uh, so basically, we will take the eggs off, we'll take the eggs out, put them on the candler, and then we're going to see how they're doing, and we're going to put the ones that are fertilized back in. I have something to put the eggs in that aren't fertilized. Turn off the light. Uh, it's starting to get light out, but it should be dark enough. So we're going to get an egg out, set it on the candler. I can see faint little lines. I don't know if you can actually see them. I'll show you. Okay. So you can see little, you can see little tiny lines. That one's good too. You try to be gentle with them. This one does not look fertilized. So we'll put that in the bowl. We'll grab this one. This one does not look fertilized. I'll take that one out. We'll put this one. This one. It's acting like it is. Oh, wait. It's hard to see, but that one looks like it is fertilized and it's developing. We'll try to do this quickly. This one here is not fertilized. We'll grab this one. Uh, this one is darker. I can't see. No. Nope. Uh, I can see little veins here. I can see little veins. Can you see the little veins? This one's fertilized. We'll put the lid back on. Make sure it's seated down. We don't have the cords in it. And there's a little notch on either side that have to line up. We have 14 developing eggs, eight that just didn't uh, start. So we're gonna get rid of them. And it's really important to make sure you go through them, make sure that they're all fertilized and developing when they're in the incubator, at least for the last portion of it. Um, dark shelled eggs are so hard to see through. Um, they're very hard to see the veins. Uh, whites, uh, you can actually maybe see through them earlier than this, but brown ones, you pretty well have to wait till the 10th day to candle them. So that's what we did. We're going to keep an eye on them and see how they go. Um, the rooster I have in the uh, chicken coop this year is way better than the one I had last year. Um, I don't know what was with the one last year. Maybe it was the other incubator. I, I don't really know, but this is a different rooster. My goal this year is to fill both coops. I had a weasel get in my other coop, cleared them out. So I need a, at least a few to go in that one. And then I need to fill my other coop uh, to replace the birds I have. I'm hoping that I can put out two batches of chicks and just that alone will actually save me enough money that I paid off the incubator. I feel much better about this incubator than the other one. I, I, feel, hopeful, I feel hopeful with this one. Uh, the other one I was always, I don't know, I just didn't feel that hopeful with it. So we'll have to see how it does. The automatic turner is very consistent. It can do it as many times as it needs. Uh, the only thing I'd recommend is keep an eye on the water. Um, I did run out of water once in it. I guess down there it's actually getting pretty low. Um, they said to fill that cup to three quarters. So when you pour it in, it slowly goes into the incubator. So I've been filling it almost right to the top. 
as long as your moisture level is within range. The moisture level hasn't come back to normal yet. I had the incubator all open, but it's slowly coming up. The temperature is back for sure. I'll keep an eye on that. I'll keep you updated. And that's about enough for today. And you guys have a good one.